Hello and welcome to the pen spinning tutorial to end all tutorials. Right now, you're probably thinking, how can one video teach me every trick there is to know? Well, I'm here to tell you, it might be a lot simpler than people make it out to be, and it's a specific skill you can train. All of the best pen spinners have gotten really good at this skill, and not many people are talking about it. In this video, I'll teach you how to progress through pen spinning as a complete beginner, be able to copy any trick you see, and never have to rely on tutorials again. The only tricks that you might need a tutorial on are the fundamentals. Check out my pen spinning fundamentals video if you're curious about that. However, other than that, tutorials are not necessary and even detrimental to progressing at pen spinning at a later level. Why, you might ask? Because tutorials spoon feed you information on how to do a specific trick when the skill to learn new tricks is an entirely different skill that gets neglected when only watching tutorials. The aim of this video is to point you in the right direction of using eyes and intuition over any single tutorial. Or as the old saying goes, give a man a tutorial and you feed him for a day, show him how to learn tricks and you feed him for a lifetime. Let's start with one of the most basic tricks which you may already know, which is okay, because the fundamental ideas are the same. This trick is the thumb around. Did you see that? That might have been a little too fast to grasp, so let's watch it in slow motion. The first step to learning anything is to actually try it. So go ahead, get a pen or pen-shaped object and actually try it for yourself. You might be thinking, how? I can't do that just by watching, there's no way. And if you already know how to do it, you might think, that's so easy, I don't need to pay attention. Both of these mentalities are detrimental for improvement. Let's watch it again. Okay, fine, maybe just watching it a few times isn't enough. So let's pause the video at the starting position. Notice every little detail of the position and copy exactly what you see. Just don't get caught up in the specificities of hand shape and finger length difference. Every hand is unique. Focus on what's important and notice how much of the pen is on each side, where each finger is, and how it's being held. Also pause anywhere you feel uncomfortable and see exactly what position it's in. This might seem like overkill for a thumb round, and it is, but it's essential to know how to copy with precision for harder tricks. When we learned our first tricks, we were unaccustomed to the movements and played less attention to small details. Once you learn more tricks, the small things will be second nature and copying harder tricks will be much easier. Let's go back to the thumb around. Make sure you have this position copied, then try and copy what comes next. Get used to the motion in your own way and use YouTube's slow motion feature at any point if you find it helpful. The goal of this is to teach you how to learn tricks just by watching them. If you relied fully on tutorials for individual tricks, you'd get to a certain point in pen spinning where you're unable to find any tutorials on what to learn next, and many people end up quitting at this point. To prevent this and to speed run pen spinning improvement, let's learn how to copy. Next I'll go through some more fundamental tricks and other very useful beginner tricks. Slow down the video, pause the video, and copy the tricks to the best of your ability. Finger pass. Here it is in slow motion. Now here it is in reverse. Next is charge. There's two ways of learning this. And now in every finger slot. Here it is in reverse. This trick is called infinity. Most tricks other than the fundamentals have prerequisite tricks you need to know in order to learn them. Sonic is probably the first example, as it's technically a fundamental itself, but you should know another fundamental, charge, before learning the Sonic. Here's the Sonic again. For more complicated finger positions, tricks with three or more fingers, really pause and make sure you get the slot right. I'll show what I mean here. This is Sonic. This is Sonic's finger slot in the middle of the trick. Now here's Twisted Sonic. Here's Twisted Sonic's finger slot in the middle of the trick. They may look the same, but unless you actually pause and try putting your fingers in the exact finger position, it might be very hard to even tell a difference between them. A good quick way to make sure the position is right is to be aware of the two sides on the pen. You can see the Twisted Sonic has the index and ring finger on this side while the middle finger is on the other side. Keep this in mind when copying more complex tricks. Here is Sonic Reverse. Twisted Sonic Reverse. Back Around. Back Around Reverse. Extended Thumb Around. Extended Thumb Around Reverse. Demon Sonic. Angel Sonic. East Sonic. West Sonic. Inverse Sonic. 
Inverse Sonic Reverse, Flush Sonic, Side Sonic, Inverse Side Sonic, Power Pass, Mirrored Power Pass, Power Pass Reverse, Mirrored Power Pass Reverse, High Tuao, Spider Spin to Fingerless Thumb Round, Thumb Fishing, that's about as far as I'll go in terms of tricks. Let's try and copy a linkage now. This linkage is a linkage I made from my series called Spin News Weekly Linkage. There are many more linkages on that series, so I recommend you check that out if you're looking for different linkages. If there's a section particularly hard, you can pause the video and only practice that part until you understand it, then move on to the whole thing. Or if you're watching a combo or clip from a spinner you like, and really like this one section they did and want to be able to do it, you can copy that section, or copy any section, or entire combos. It's all up to you now. You're in control. You get to choose what your spinning becomes. Copying tricks, links, and combos only speedruns progress and improvement. As Isaac Newton once said, If I've seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. What this quote means is by using the understanding of major thinkers in the past, he is able to further progress using their knowledge as a starting point. Implement this in your own spinning by always copying harder and harder things while improving them in your own way. Then, eventually you'll be ready to copy from the best and improve from there. If you liked this video, let me know and check out my other videos on pen spinning. If you have a suggestion for a future video, feel free to write it in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.